Hi developers, welcome back to Code Step by Step. My name is Anil. In this part of uh, Node.js, we will learn that how we can read data from MongoDB. In last video, we learned that how we can connect Node.js with the MongoDB. And we also read the data from database. But why we are creating a, again video for reading data? The reason is because in last video, we created the simplest way to fetch the data from database. But that was not a standard way because whenever we are connecting node.js or any other language with the database we must have to create a separate file for database database configuration and that part we will do in that video so first of all i will tell you how we can read data from mongodb uh, without any configuration file then we will create a configuration file we will handle promises and at the last we will discuss some important interview questions also and we will do all these things step by step. So let me just uh, open the previous file. This is our code. In last video, we created the connections. We provide the URL database name. Then we connect with the collection and then we find the data. And in this video, we will put all these code in the separate file and we will, cre we will create a uh, different functions for reading the data, right? So let me just uh, open the terminal and uh, let me show you the result of previous video this is working fine here you can see that we are fetching the data from database and here we have the four results great so let's go step by step and uh, let's just create a function for uh, database configuration then we will create a separate file so if i am just removing these two lines or commenting out these two lines now you can see that we have uh, in this function we have database connection and only uh, collection connection so this is a perfect function for configurations right because uh, on the same table we we may have to just create a multiple option uh, operations like uh, read data update data delete data and search data and all so now let's just change the function name because this is not a uh, not anymore get data this is a connection function so let's put here db connection and uh, let me just try to console this function first of all console dot log and connect db and now you will find that it will return a promise so to handle this promise what we can do here let me just provide here db connection dot then and we can just take a arrow function here and let me provide again a parameter which is response so if I am just consoling console.log this uh, response, you will find that we have a complete, uh, okay, we have nothing here because we must have to return something from this file. So I am returning here db.collection and uh, here you can see that we are getting the data. Uh, actually, this is a complete collection, not actually database. Here you can see that, right? So how we can get the data for that we must have to use here dot find function and with that we can use here to array why we have to use array to just uh, get the structured format even in last video we just use that right but now you will find a again a promise so how we can handle it with the same way we again have to just use here uh, you can say that dot then so just simply put here dot then and in that arrow functions what we can do here we can provide uh, data and we can just simply put here console dot log and let's run this with the data and now you can see that we got the old data here great even we can provide here some conditions like a where condition in a uh, mysql so name of mobile can be let's say node and now you will find that we are getting data only for the node great so this is the one way so now let's say you want to learn the second way which is async await so just create a function const main and it could be a arrow function so i am just uh, consoling here something for a moment let's say function called now run it this main function 
and we got the output from this function which is working fine so now let's create a let keyword data keyword here uh, and uh, now we can simply just put here db connection and let's console it console dot log data and now you will find that we are getting again a promise to resolve this promise we again have to just uh, handle the two promises one for uh, you can say that the database connection and second one for the two array so i am just simply putting here one await here and second one we need a one more await so let me just again push the value inside this data keyword which is uh, await data dot find dot to array and now you will find that we are getting the perfect data not getting perfect data because we must have to use this uh, function as a async function and now we are getting all the data even we can provide the same conditions here so let's say just provide here name is node and we are getting the same data great so now let's say you want to just create a separate file we don't need these two lines we can remove them we can copy this code from here to the different file so let's say a different file name is mongodb.js put the code here and here we have to do one thing we have to just export this uh, module dot export and export this db connection keep in mind don't call this function here just pass this function and now inside our uh, index.js let's uh, load this file so just take a const db connection is require mongodb file and now you will find that this is still working fine so okay we got a error so let me check what is that uh, db connect is not a function because i think i just missed something here so okay just we have to use here module dot exports which is db connect i actually i got that we just have to call this function actually we just called the uh, you can see that uh, uh, mongodb module so now it should work fine so let me see yes this is work fine and by mistakely we actually just remove our uh, uh, you can say that of promise uh, and then method also so let me just uh, uh, recover this so after undo now we have the both functions which is uh, both method actually uh, db connection dot then which is we are just resolving the promise and the async await which is the main function and here you can see that both are working fine so with that way you can create a separate uh, database configuration file and if you still have any kind of issue you can ask me in the comment box and please don't forget to subscribe my channel